Today, I'm excited to be able to present a fascinating product workflow that focuses on using Oxford Nanopore products to do end-to-end -end sequencing and analysis on human genome samples. This journey will take us through some new chemistry developments, as well as new analysis tools that contain features that make this analysis more streamlined than ever before. While, of course, our customers have been doing end-to-end -end workflows with Oxford Nanopore for some time now, it's easier than ever with the introduction of our new end-to-end -end protocols available on the Nanopore community. One such of these protocols is the end-to-end -end sequencing protocol for 30 kilobase fragments of human DNA on the Promethion. This protocol walks you through the sequencing process from sample prep to data analysis. It starts with a DNA extraction from cultured cells and a library preparation using a Kyogen kit and our newest ligation sequencing kit, version 14, respectively. It also includes usage of SFE, our short fragment eliminator expansion kit that helps you focus on long reads by eliminating fragments shorter than 25 KB. By following the recommended prep in the workflow, as well as using the SFE expansion, you are likely to get a high quality library that will set you up for a stellar experiment. While this end-to-end -end protocol does not yet have an automated offering, it is worth mentioning that our version 14 kits are fully capable of being automated on various liquid handling platforms. This allows you to scale up your sample number and reduce hands-on time. After your successful library prep with kit V14 chemistry, you're ready to take advantage of the power of the Promethion flow cell. With the kit 14 chemistry, SFE expansion kit, and the Promethion flow cell, you're able to get 30x coverage of one human genome, or 20x coverage if you want to run two human genomes on a single flow cell. Our development teams are also hard at work at increasing the sequencing yield, targeting the ability to sequence two and even three genomes at 30x coverage on a single Promethion flow cell. With this preparation, you should also be seeing an average read N50 of 30 KB. Now, I'm sure some of you may be thinking, well, what if I don't have a Promethion 24 or 48? Am I going to miss out on all the fun? I'm happy to dissuade that fear, because everyone can now join in on the Promethion fun. With the range of our Promethion devices, from the Promethion 2, Promethion 2 Solo, or the Promethion 24 or 48, the power of Promethion sequencing is now available in many configurations that will work for you. The larger devices arrive with capable compute units to ensure that your analysis can proceed no matter what you throw at it. On the other hand, the sleek and accessible P2 Solo can be attached to any computer that meets specifications, whether that be the gridiron or something you already have in the lab. Now that we've gone through sample preparation, following the end-to-end -end protocols, and sequencing with the power of Promethion, it's time to discuss analysis. To introduce our analysis suite for human genome protocols, I'd like to welcome Stephen Rudd, Associate Director of Bioinformatics Product, up to the stage. So thank you, Rachel. So today, we're super pleased to allow, launch a new version of Epitome Labs, our software for on-device data analysis. We've seen the Minnow software behind generating live sequencing data. How do we perform the analysis? So my colleague Matt here is going to open up the, the Epitome Lab software. This is a desktop piece of software that comes configured with a number of you know, high performance, exciting, and interactive workflows that will get you towards an answer. So Matt's going to have a brief look through some of the already configured and pre-installed software. Here we can see we've got a collection of workflows that address typical, useful applications that you can perform on your sequence data on the device. Here we're talking about a human end-to-end -end workflow. So let's have a look at WF Human Variation, our workflow for looking for SNPs, structural variations, looking for repeat expansions, you're looking for methylation. It can do it all. So let's have a look at this, Matt. Let's begin to configure the beginnings of a workflow. So we've got a big icon. Run here. You click the icon, and it opens up a beautiful dialog. We've got simple touch buttons where we can specify the attributes of our run. Yes, we want SNPs. Yes, we want structural variation. And yes, we want methylation. We scroll down. 
we identified the folder which has our sequence reads, and then there's a beautiful button at the bottom, let's launch our workflow. Hey, we've only got a couple of minutes now, so you know, we're not going to spend a few minutes analyzing the data. Let's have a look at a report that has already been prepared. So here we've got a report that was prepared yesterday. Um, one of the sort of the key features is we have beautiful HTML format reports. They can be shared with collaborators, they can be shared with supervisors, but here we're trying to distill the essence of the analysis. What looks good? What looks great? What looks awesome? For this workflow, we said, yes, we want SNPs, we want structural variations, so we have reports for each. Perhaps more fascinating than just HTML format reports, we now have a track browser. We can explore our data. So on our panel, we have the ability to open up the JBrowse 2 browser. Here we can see beautiful information. We've got SNPs. We've got structural variation. We can look at depth of coverage. This is reassuring. I've had a successful run. This genome is fit for purpose. Anyhow. This is Epitome Labs 4, released today, even better than the previous version. Some functionality that could be really useful for you folks is you can now run your own workflows in this software. This means that you are no longer limited by what we can write. So um, is it loading? Yep, OK. Um, yeah, we can run your workflows too. It's going to be amazing. So with that, I would really, really like to hear from you. Which workflows would you like to contribute? How can we run your workflows with you? How can we build a community around this? I would love for you to register your interest. We do have a slide which will register interest in a moment with a QR code. And with this, I'm going to say thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you, Stephen, for that incredible demo. Always hard to get back on stage after Stephen. Um, I'm sure people will be clamoring to run this analysis and contribute their own workflows after seeing all that. I bet I would. Um, unfortunately, we're nearing the end of our time for the product demo for today. Before I wrap up, I do want to recap what we've covered today. In this session, we introduced the end-to-end -end protocols that enable us to have amazing human genome long reads with awesome N50s of over 30 KB. We also talked about harnessing the power of the Promethion flow cell in any configuration that will work for you. Finally, Stephen blew us all away with his presentation on our new human genome analysis options. I really hope you enjoyed following along through our end-to-end -end offering for human genome analysis. We're so excited to increase our offerings and continue, continue developing more and more end-to-end -end workflows for all your organisms and use cases. We hope to see you back in the live lounge tomorrow if you want to learn more about what's new in the Oxford Nanopore product pipeline. Thank you.